Dan was always really into activities. For as long as his parents can remember, Daniel Nestle was one of those kids who was always on the go. In one summer, okay, he worked at True Value Hardware. He did the 50-mile Boy Scout hike. He was working on his Eagle Scout thing. A kid who loved the outdoors. He did rock climbing, mountain climbing. And for as long as they can remember, Daniel wanted to follow in his father and his grandfather's footsteps and become a soldier. Dan loved the Army. Yes, he did. In 2003, he was sent to Iraq. Working mostly with Iraqi families and children, Daniel truly enjoyed his first deployment. But uh, my second deployment was much more Wild West. Well, a lot of times we'd go out with the infantry guys and uh, we got contact every day. I had uh, about seven concussions in between the two deployments from different explosions and just uh, sorry, various things. I just remember seeing like this wave of red like fireball coming over my head and uh, I just remember thinking, where, where am I? Why, why is the sky red? And uh, that was all I really remember. After returning home in 2006, there was something different about Daniel. When I first got home, uh, I'd have flashes of just like rage where I just get extremely angry and uh, they noticed I had a huge problem with memory and then um, speaking and then um, just easily distractible and uh, they knew that I was kind of isolating myself. As time passed on the list of symptoms lengthened. The memory loss, the speech, not being able to say what he wants to say. Now I stumble through just basic uh, basic uh, communication like right now. <laughs> Excuse me. Spitting out the words enunciation. I just found out that I actually have the, the TBI. So it makes like a daily, I'm sorry, um, like my speech. <laughs> uh, daily, uh, looking for, I'm sorry, um, daily life a lot more difficult. Not being able to sleep, moodiness, agitation, frustration, explosive anger. At his parents' urging, Daniel sought help. He was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. But there was something else. Daniel had brain damage. Brain damage caused by a traumatic brain injury. A traumatic brain injury is where the brain is concussed. Dr. Jay Uemoto is a neuropsychologist and a TBI consultant at the Department of Veteran Affairs. He says the injuries vets are suffering from today result from the type of combat being fought. In uh, this new population, in Iraq war veterans and Afghanistan war veterans, uh, we're seeing individuals coming back with a new form of traumatic brain injury, uh, often because of the blast injuries that people are being exposed to. Blast injuries from landmines, rocket-propelled grenades, and IEDs, improvised explosive devices, most frequently in the form of roadside bombs. Advances in body armor are saving the lives of soldiers who would have died from similar blasts in past wars. But surviving means many troops are suffering multiple concussions. Doctors say all those concussions add up, causing debilitating brain damage. And because there's no visible wound, it often goes undiagnosed. This kind of a TBI is a new phenomenon, requiring doctors to pioneer new treatments. Neuropsychologists at polytrauma clinics around the country are trying to offer vets comprehensive therapy to manage all of the many symptoms of a TBI. Our, our job is to remove as much excess disability as possible depression, PTSD, chronic pain, sleep problems, uh, fatigue, uh, and a, an array of other things, and then provide the compensation therapy to make up for some of the difference on some of those areas that may not fully recover. I love you. I love you too. Living on a farm in Mount Vernon with his new wife, Marta, Daniel has begun treatment for his TBI. On a weekly basis, I have about six appointments, ranging from, uh, like, for balance or, um, what do you call it, physical therapy for my chest or 
uh, working on speech and uh, memory. <laughs> Sorry, memory. Oh, did you take your pills today? Uh, I'll check. He <laughs> takes a daily regimen of pills. Just to remind you every day. Performs exercises for basic motor skills. Does that make you really? Yeah. And therapy to regain his balance. Balance is a big one. Because uh, I, I used to do a lot of rock climbing and mountaineering. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately, my balance isn't what it used to, so it's not safe for me to be on the rock anymore. Just, I lose balance once I close my eyes, I can't. Right now, the number of vets suffering from a TBI is unknown, but it's in the tens, possibly hundreds of thousands. Unfortunately, few get help because of the stigma of being seen as weak. We have more holes we gotta patch up. You know. Daniel hopes his story will encourage other soldiers to seek medical care. I saw there was a hole inside. And with the treatment he has received, he and his wife look forward to a brighter future. I know it's still it's not going to get better by tomorrow. I, at least I'm seeing improvement in myself, and others have commented on the fact that they have seen improvement, like my family and my wife and my friends. I can see why these Vietnam vets were on the streets, and Dan would have been there also if it hadn't been for his family. I don't care what they believe today, but they did send them out, and so it's our responsibility to take care of them.